Hello Malaka Melty! Have a brilliant day to all of you! Welcome back again here in our channel! Shout out nga pala to all our 134 subscribers and 4.7 thousand viewers and likers! Thank you for your support in our YouTube blog! For this time, we have another topic to discuss today. This is again the online teacher blog and we have another short blog video which is entitled How to Apply at Philippine Air Force PAF for Officer and Soldier Candidate. A step-by-step -step process of PAF recruitment system. And this is our topic of the day. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell icon, like, share, and comment to our YouTube channel. Let's start now. So for the PAF recruitment system or the Philippine Air Force recruitment system, please read all the instructions carefully. Step 1. Applicants shall check if he or she meets the Philippine Air Force officer candidate and soldier candidate qualifications. If he or she meets all the qualifications in any of the two categories, proceed to step 2. So the qualifications are must be a natural born citizen of the Republic of the Philippines. Number 2 of good moral character number three single never been married and never born or sired a child four must have a barefoot height or not less than 152.4 centimeters or five feet for both male and female for officer candidate we have a baccalaureate degree holder age must not be less than 21 nor more than 29 years old upon appointment for so for, uh, i mean for soldier candidate k to 12 graduate uh, or at least 72 college units age must not be less than 18 nor more than 28 uh, i mean 26 years old upon appointment next step step 2 Applicants shall register to the online application at the PAF online recruitment system. Join now to create personal accounts, fill up application form, and upload the initial requirements. So if you will click the join now, it will navigate to the link or the URL which is https colon double slash recruitment dot airforce dot mail dot ph slash user slash login so upon clicking the join now it will navigate to this part which is the login form then you will put your username you can enter your username here in a blank space then your password then the captcha then you can log in or what code is in the message all right so let's have the step three applicants shall wait for the confirmation from pfbmc prior to download the examination permit please check the pf online recruitment system and your email regularly step four applicants shall wear white t-shirt and pants for soldier candidate and white polo shirt and pants for philippine air force officer candidate and shall bring the following requirements during the day of examination exam permit original copy of tor and psa birth certificate we have pencil mongol number two and two valid ids so this is the exam permit to be accomplished by authorized staff personnel only so you can put your 
uh, they can put your name of the applicant, control number, date of birth, height, examination center, examination date and time, applicant signature, processors, signature above printed name, processing centers, or contact number. So, a reproduction photocopy of this form is authorized. And you can attach here your latest 2x2 two two ID photo. Is It must be front facial close-up white background with your name and signature at the back of the photo. Then this is your transcript of record. So here are the example of the transcript of record or uh, TOR in college. Then we have the PSA birth certificate. So this is the Philippine Statistics Authority birth certificate, as you can see. We have Mongol number two is the qualified pencil for examination so that it can give you the best result. Then these are the valid IDs. You can have your Comelec ID, PhilHealth ID, Pag-ibig ID, SSS ID, or a passport ID or any valid government ID that you have then you can present to them then step 5 2 hours prior to actual examination of APSAT and PFGCT the applicant shall directly report to the designated testing centers and undergo initial soldier candidate screening limited physical examination so these are the limited physical examination and obvious physical defor de uh, deformities. One cross eye, two bowed leg, knock le uh, knee, crooked arm, locking finger, tattoo, ear, facial piercing, male, multiple ear facial piercing for females so this is the crossed eye we have isotropia exotropia hyperthropia hypothropia then we have bow leg knock leg so these are bowed legs and as you can see these are the limited physical exa um, examination um, which is limited to the PE. Then we have crooked arm, cubitus, virus, normal, and the valgus. Then we have locking finger, so locking or maybe more is not accepted. Then the tattoo is prohibited also. The multiple ear facial piercing female. Step six, the examination result will be published upon approval of GC path, uh, passers will be notified accordingly notification mode we have path website text messaging and call uh, from CP numbers 0977045927 and 9096182322029 so st we have step 7 physical fitness test shall be conducted to those physic uh, successful passers for Philippine Air Force officer candidate at BF, BMC, CG, VA, v Pasa City and to the designated processing centers to the soldier candidate. Step 8. Successful passers will continue to undergo physical medical examination to designated PATH military treatment facility for officer candidate and for soldier candidate. For officer candidate, uh, they will go to Air Force General Hospital CJVAV Pasay City. Then for soldier candidate Luzon, they have Air Force General Hospital, Clark Air Base Hospital, ABAB Hospital, MDAAB Hospital, FAB Hospital, CERAB Hospital, in Visayas we have BGEAB Hospital, Mindanao EAAB Hospital. Then we have Step 9 successful passers who will undergo the physical and medical examinations shall submit the following requirements to the PE. FMC for Philippine Air Force officer candidate and to the designated processing centers for soldier candidates 10 days after the conduct of physical fitness test. Physical uh, Philippine Air Force officer candidate and soldier candidate requirements. Then we have the Philippine Air Force candidate and soldier.